Okay, students, we are going to study today a Schrodinger equation. Aaron Schrodinger developed the wave mechanics in 1926, for which he received the Nobel Prize in 1932. So, we are going to study about the Schrodinger equation. Schrodinger equations represent the matter wave equations. Clear? So, let's see what is a Schrodinger equation. The Schrodinger equation can be that square side upon that x square plus del square psi upon del y square del square psi upon del z square plus 8 pi square m upon x square into e minus u of psi equals to 0 this is the Schrodinger equations in which that is a partial derivative where psi is a wave function well, where well, this is some of the constants are there. This is actually the Planck constant here, and is the mass of the particle. Where eight pi square is a constant variation. E is the mechanical energy, where U is the potential energy of a particle. Clear. We are going to see the magnitude of psi square. Psi is a complex quantity. Clear. But the magnitude of psi square is always real and a positive. What is this one? Now, this one, magnitude of psi square is that probability of detecting a particle in a given center volume is this magnitude of psi square. So, we are interested in finding the value of this one. Clear? This can be treated as the product of psi with this one complex conjugate. That can be done. Clear? We are going to use this equation for one dimension for x direction y or z we are going to suppose it for the x only clear so let me write this one for one dimension so del square psi upon del x square plus 8 pi square m upon x square into e minus u of x of psi equals to 0 so that equation we just remove one dimension for x. Clear. So, mechanical energy, that's the potential energy for the particle in the x directions. Okay. Now, we are going to evaluate these solutions. That what the solution we can get it. Okay. According to the De Broglie equations, we know that the particle is P equals to h by lambda. This equation we know from De Broglie equations. Okay. Now, I'm going to find out the valuation of this one. What is saying? Clear? So, this one, E minus U of X we know very well. Magnetic energy minus potential energy is going to be equal to kinetic energy, that is 1 by 2 mv square. We can write that this way also in form of momentum, P squared by 2F. Clear? So, what can I get? For P, clear. So I get that P square is equal to 2m e minus u of x. That's what I can get it. Clear. Where over here I know that the P square is going to be x square by lambda square also. Clear. So that's the my momentum. I get the position. Okay. So we are interested in finding the value of this one. Clear. So for that, we need to equal these solutions. So, instead of this one, I can write that E, that is h by lambda, f squared by lambda squared is equal to 2m e minus u of x. So we have placed the volition on P, that is a h by lambda, so P squared is equal to f squared by lambda squared. Fine. Now, over here, this can be written like that way h by lambda, the whole square is equal to 2m e minus u of x. Fine. That's the return. Now, I'm going to do something over there. I'm going to multiply with the upstairs 2 pi and multiply downstairs by 2 pi. The reason is that I'm interested in finding that wave vector that is k. k is equal to 2 pi by lambda. So, I'm going to multiply 2 pi above and the below 
So that's the 2m e minus u of x. So now, as I want the 2 pi by lambda, that's my vector, this one 2 pi by lambda. So what can I get? k h upon 2 pi for so this square is equal to 2m e minus u of x. So, getting the square, k squared x squared upon 4 pi squared, 2m e minus u of x. Subjecting the k square over there. K square is equal to 4 pi square will go upstairs, so that will become 8 pi square m into e minus u of x divided by x square. So that's the right thing I got it. So this term 8 pi square m by x square. 8 pi square m by x square into e minus u of x is nothing but k square. Clear? So, my this one equation I can write now like this way del square psi upon del x square plus k square of psi equals to 0. So, this is the second order differential equation for matter waves. Such kind of equation we have seen for the second order differential equation for. Simple harmonic oscillation for damp harmonic oscillations like that. So it is represented the same way like that. Yeah, del square psi upon del x square plus k square psi is equal to 0. Now, this is the second order differential equation, so we are going to know that one is solution. What is the solution? Good. The solution of this equation is psi of x is equal to a e raised to minus sorry ikx plus b e raised to minus i chaos. So that's the solution. But I want particular space and time both the coordinates. So this small side represents the only space coordinate. So I want capital side. That is particular x of and t. That can be become like psi of x into e raised to minus i omega t. So right now I have the space and the time both variables. Clear? So that means this can be treated like this way. Capital of psi of x and t, that is a e raised to i omega kx plus b e raised to minus i kx into e raised to minus i omega t. Clear? Where a and b are the constant, clear? Where this k is vector, x, the positions represented, clear? So I'm not going like this one, we get what? So we will go on doing the product of this one. That we got a e raised to i kx minus i omega t plus b e raised to minus i kx minus i omega t like that. On simplifying psi of x t, we have a e raised to i con k x minus omega t plus b e raised to minus i con k x minus omega t. So this represents that particularly great equations. This term a e raised to i into bracket k x minus omega t represents that various traveling in a positive x direction. Where this one, b into e raised to minus i into bracket kx minus omega t represents the various travel in a negative x directions. We are going to deal with the positive x direction. Clear? So, let's see what we have. Magnitude of psi of xt, like that only, e raised to i into bracket kx minus omega t. This is an exponential function. You can turn into a trigonometric function by using the Euler's formula. Euler's formula, we know that e raised to i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta. So generally, we can convert this exponential into a trigonometric function. Well, we are going to keep it as it is. But the question is still that we need to find out the magnitude of psi square, which is a real and positive. So this will help me in finding the particle's positions, detecting the positions of a particle in a matter of waves. Clear? 
So magnitude of psi square is going to be e s to pi kx. I'm going to take it as square. Over there, in that equation, this I have found for the at t is equals to zero. This condition I have used it for the t is equals to zero. So over here, it will remain e s to pi kx where t is a zero. So at the initial time, I'm finding the condition of a particle. So on this basis. This is a constant value, so we got a square. Now we are interested in finding i k x, the whole square. Same things we can do it here. That we have to multiply this a to i k x, which is complex, complex conjugate project. Here. That stands. So. Magnitude of psi square that will becomes e square equals to zero. That stands for one. So this represents that magnitude of psi square is equals to the square of some real number, clear and positive value. So that helps us in finding the probability of detecting a particle in a given center volume. That is the Schrodinger equations.